everybody so for today's video we'll talk about the next step or at least the final stage to get your business going in terms of sending text messages so if you remember on my previous video we did talk about how you will register your business um, or profile for approval we're done with that and as you can see on my screen currently my business profile is in review so please take note that even if your business profile is in review you can now begin with your campaign cases registration or the A2P brand and campaign registration. So as you see, this is now an available option. And take note that there's going to be a $4.41 per month um, campaign fee. And for any additional, there's going to be a $1.50 to $11.50 per month campaign fee. By the way, it's one time every month and it's not per text message. Now, before I start or begin the registration, I just want to talk about like what they need to have to begin the campaign registration. The first thing is you have to have a business website or at least a Facebook ads page where or it, that actually shows um, people has a way to enter their information to give you content to receive text message. So to give you an example, this is one of a wholesaler website we buy high we buy ugly houses and as you can see there is a web for, or, i mean there's a web form here where someone can actually enter the address and additionally they can add the phone number and email where uh, we buy ugly houses can contact them to receive any future communication so this is a must in your website and at, at the same time there should be an available public contact information where sellers can text or call your business. So if you notice, there is a huge phone number on the, the top right hand corner of my website that actually states where people can contact me. And additionally, there's a contact us page form where people can also like um, put in their information uh, to get a cash offer. So when you have this, it's like you're, you're, um, the seller is obviously giving a consent to receive any fu future text message. And lastly, people have or should have the ability to easily opt out to receive any future text message, which is actually part of our to-dos and don'ts when you're actually submitting your campaign cases for registration. Because when you provide your sample text message over here, this is what you should you should and should not to do so like the three things is make sure that you have your your sample message will include or like this sample message will actually include opt-out language it also should include um, how client opted in so if you notice my sample message says we have received uh, the form you filled out on our website so that's um, the information how the client that uh, client opted in and also should have the center information so this is the company name if we go back to the business information inside REI reply you have there the friendly company name you can use that as your company name instead of your legal business name to protect your business as well and lastly uh, the, the things that you should not do um, on your initial messages to easily get approved or to at least get like a higher um, score rate or trust rate is to not include any shortened URL or links. Um, it should also not include any highly spam keywords, which I believe is in my separate video. And at least try to keep your characters under 100 um, characters. So now let's go back to how do I do that inside REI Reply. So again, these are the things you can take note of when you submit the registration. I also provided you a sample explanation and at the same time, sample messages. You have to make sure that you try to paraphrase this um, on, in your own words to make sure that you can, um, you know, we, we don't have the same submissions at least. <laughs> so now let me go ahead and select next. And then from here, the first step is really identifying what campaign use case um, type you would like to go with uh, for us we want to go with mix because this is a, a combination of both customer service and um, general information so we want to you know we want to send both so if you guys go back to my campaign description it actually tells uh, Twilio that our campaign or text message will consist of account notification new customer offers and customer care so if you look at campaign case uh, basically we want to use mix because there's this or there's multiple um reasons why we're sending these text messages not just customer care not just account notification but um combination of that i'm going to go with mix and now for my explanation i'm just going to go ahead and copy um this campaign description that i have on my uh, document but just to go over the campaign description you have to make sure that when you explain 
uh, the use of this campaign, you have to generally tell them how or why, you know, you're sending text message to your clients. So if you'd notice my explanation goes along with our campaign is going to consist of account notification, new customer offers and customer care, and that we will be using text to email or end email to notify our potential clients that have filled out the form in our website or Facebook page to ensure we can validate the information they have submitted to us. So I'm actually just letting Twilio know that our um, that our clients would opt in to our website or maybe from our FB ads and we just want to validate additional information before we proceed with feature communications as well. Although technically guys, I know that we're actually keep chasing the list from prop stream or whatnot, but um, in reality, uh, to, to be compliant with SMS marketing, we need to make sure that we do let them know that these people did have an option to receive these text message. But again, be mindful when you're submitting your campaign registration to not include those kind of explanations that actually states that uh, you, you skip trace the list and that you want to send a cold text message or whatnot. Basically, you still have your website and I know that some of you are also running campaigns to make sure that you do have inbound uh, marketing campaigns going on. So this is still going to be a valid um, campaign description. Ad additionally, I just added this, but you know, you can be so creative. But um, additionally, we will be sending our customer text message to obtain additional information about the process and receiving offers to proceed with closing. I think the very good example of that message is like just saying, you can also like text offer to our hotline, which is um, or to our phone number, this number, and automatically they can receive a quick valuation of the address they have submitted to us. So that's one way um, that they have opted in to receive text message as well. All right, so then um, I'm satisfied with my campaign use case description. I'm just going to go ahead and select next. And now I'm ready to enter the sample message and as well as um, sample message too. So you can see it has to be like less than 1,024 characters, minimum length of 20 characters. So you have to submit two samples. I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these. So again, if we go back to our to do's and don'ts, you know, this basically states um, the name of the person that submitted, our company name, meaning the sender's information, where we got their information from, and definitely making sure to be included in opt-out language. I just want to highlight the opt-out language because that's very, very important because one of the requirement is to make sure that the um, the client or customer do have an option to opt out not to receive any future sms but then you also don't want to risk your account from being blocked just because you do have a high opt out rate so instead of like saying stop um i use the word no and then you know it just says reply no if you feel this is a mistake instead of saying um stop to not receive future text message because that enables um that basically activates a high opt out rate so i don't want to you know i don't want to be dinged for that so i'm just using reply no if you feel this is a mistake or reply no to not receive this message um going forward but at least i still have that actual um you know actual requirement in my text message so now i have that um and then i'm gonna put um text message too so i'm gonna say hey first name so this is the same We've received your inquiry. The answer is yes. We're able to close within 30 days and we do not charge additional fees. Please read out again or send. Um, just going to send additional fees. Talk soon. Reply no to opt out in any in, in receiving any additional messages. I'm going to say that. Talk soon to opt out in, in receiving additional messages. Now I'm going to say. This message, so if your future message, guys, will actually include embedded link, you can um, enable this. Or if your message will include phone numbers, you can also, like, enable this uh, option. Although, my recommendation is to just, in, you know, to, to just um, select this message will, will include embedded link. Although, be careful because you don't want to raise a red flag when you're sending too much shortened URLs. If you're sending links, might as well use the longer links instead. All right, now I'm going to select next. And then here, we want to talk about how do end users um, consent to receive text. As you, can, as you can see, there is an example um, statement here. 
end users can opt in by visiting this website so if you do have a website then you might want to make sure it's there so let me just grab that for one second all right so as you can see guys um hold on i think i have closed that one second sorry about that i think i have i might have closed it earlier so i have to redo it again so here it's going to tell you or it's just going to ask you additional information how end user or basically your client opted in from your website so as you can see there is an example explanation here so you can just be like um end users um our clients or customer and visit our website so you just have to enter like which website so for example this is our website let me use that um to enter their information including name phone number and number address they're looking sell and email to receive an offer additionally when they submitted form they will have to enter or they will have to enable the checkbox to receive future notification then you can just decide like what opt-in um, keywords you'd like to use um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just add that there um, then just take a screenshot so opt-in keyword could be like store offer sell so like these are just some of my keywords and then opt-in message is like what they will receive um, as soon as they you know as soon as they type in the keywords offer so you actually just have one message ready so like if you text offer to receive a quick valuation i'm gonna say you know like um you are now opted in or like you know we will send you an offer in 24 hours mm. send us um notification to or you'd be like thanks for submitting the request send you an offer in 24 hours something like that and then you can go ahead and click on submit and as soon as you select submit you just have to wait for a few seconds so guys, take note that while I'm waiting for this um, to get higher approval, um, approval trance, um, you have to make sure that you do business profile registration and campaign registration um, at least almost the same time. So what I mean is as soon as you approve or as soon as you send your business profile, get your campaign registered as soon as possible. So this is going to take a few seconds while you're submitting. So let's wait soon as you're done submitting the campaign uh, cases registration you can go back to this page and you will actually see um, that there is the status um, beside your actual a2p brand campaign registration so normally it will take 24 to 48 hours to actually get the full approval or to at least get um, your trust score to start sending text messages basically you're now inside um, the you're actually now inside like once your status is verified you're now good to go um, and that means you're actually within a verified ecosystem to make sure that you have higher delivery rates after the registration is complete if you do have any questions feel free to drop them drop them down below the comment section but i will also be sharing an faq guide on a separate video together with the link i'm going to put that in the description uh, link below in case that you do have additional questions at least you can be guided based on this um, frequently asked questions guide so all of the most most commonly asked questions is are here to make sure that you're guided upon submitting your request all right thank you everybody